in the manufacturing of some types of product for automotive applications, it is essential that the organization has an effective process for electrostatic discharge control, sometimes shortened to be ESD. Watch this video to determine if we think the controls in this organization are effective. So you're all suited up. Uh, could you try the ESD test for me? Okay. So if you put one foot on here, yep. and then you press the button. Ah, okay, fail. So we need to get you some ESD test straps. So if you just step back a minute, I'll go and get those straps for you. Okay, thank you. So we need to go through here, do I? Before starting any audit, auditors should confirm with the auditee any safety protocols or any personal protective equipment requirements to enter the production work areas. In this video, it appears that there was inadequate preparation. As the auditor went to enter this area without wearing the appropriate shoe straps, meaning that they failed, failed the ESD checks to enter the work area. In undertaking the audit, auditors should verify the effectiveness of the ESD controls, which would include verifying the training given to any new employees, how the requirements for entering the work area are defined and monitored, the calibration or verification of the ESD testing devices and how the workbench requirements are managed. For example, are wrist straps required to be defined and controlled for use at the workstation? The evidence collected should be compared back to the relevant PFMEA and control plan, which could define or reference any of the relevant controls needed. This situation is also related to IETF requirement 7.1.4.1, Environment for the Operation of Processes Supplemental, which states, the organization shall maintain its premises in a state of order, cleanliness and repair that is consistent with the product and the manufacturing process needs. Finally, auditors should review performance data as part of any audit to see whether there's been any customer or internal issues that have been caused by electrostatic discharge and any action that was taken to prevent the reoccurrence of such issues. So let's summarize the key learning points. During any audit, auditors should verify the management of the work environment to ensure effective control to meet both the product and the manufacturing process requirements. For some types of product, it is critical that electrostatic discharge is effectively controlled to minimize the risk of product damage. In such cases, auditors should follow any ESD control protocols and verify the effective controls are in place to enter and work within the production work environment. 